Hi everyone, I hope you're keeping well. Sorry that my videos are very, very sporadic. Hopefully I can do something about them and get some new ones out soon for you, but I wouldn't bet on it, but I'm gonna try. Um, two weeks ago, I was here at my beloved Winterson. We had some incredible wintry conditions, but it was impossible to record audio. Far too windy, it's very difficult today actually. So all I wanna do is just this one, one piece speaking to you now and what I'm going to do is some voiceover vlog back at um, some voiceover recording back at home and go through some of the images I took a couple of weeks ago and maybe even some today though it looks like we're losing a bit of light now so I may not be able to do anything else here today but I just wanted to come here and record an intro piece for you and say hello thanks for sticking with me haven't lost any subscribers but I really could start um, doing with some more now and pushing on towards that um, four figure that would um, four figure number that would be lovely but I've got to get some stuff out first, haven't I? So, this is the beginning of a new era. <laughs> Who am I kidding? No, I might be right this time. There may be more videos coming along. I sincerely hope so. But thanks for sticking with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the images. And um, I hope to see you soon with another video, okay? <laughs> so, true to form, my first images of the morning involve movement. I love this area. Throughout the year, wonderful color, always something new to shoot so this is always one of the um, places that I make a beeline for when I arrive at Winterton and it was no exception no special images taken here just nice to try and get your eye in start the afternoon shoot and yeah just got a couple of sort of grass movement type shots moved on to some of the dunes behind and got some black and white shots with movement quite um quite contrasty that was the effect I went for rather light them but nothing special but as I always say, it's just nice to get started, get the eye in, um, get a couple of couple of images on file, so to speak, and yeah, get ready for the whatever the rest of the afternoon will bring. Walking along the top of the dunes, I came across this area and um, immediately saw the potential for a graphic image using the shadow, the area of shingle the shoreline and the waves coming in. And what I intend to do is also include a little bit of the grasses in the dunes in the foreground. So a layered image, graphic image with a little bit of movement, thought that might work quite well. Out of the two I took from this area, the um, the second image is my favorite. It's um, shooting towards this lovely groin um, with a very striking red top, very graphic. It was then a case of waiting for a nice wave to break. And I thought this one looked quite nice. I like the punchiness of the shadow and yeah, just a bit of movement. Yeah, quite happy with that image. Quite happy with that. Seals, oh, they are so gorgeous, so gorgeous. Just up the road from Winnetson is a place called Horsey, which is home to a huge seal colony every year. And apparently this year has been no exception. I'm so pleased to say that they've had a great year and there's been so many and there were so many seals this year on Winterton Beach so it's lovely to see them so close to Winterton as well and um, I was so pleased to bump into these guys and just observe them it is an absolute privilege and a pleasure to watch them and this little fella ah what a little character what a little character and please note guys that I am always observant a safe distance to keep the seals nice and calm I'm not disturbing them I'm using a long lens and keeping well out of the way. Um, I wish I could say the same for some of the visitors that come to this area, but um, please respect the wildlife. And um, I hope you enjoy these images. And please remember, I'm not a wildlife photographer. <laughs> the seals had kept me so occupied that I hadn't seen this fantastic weather front coming in. I, I meant to say, guys, this was a damn cold day. I nearly swore then. Damn cold day. And um, the norvalies were blown in. It really was a case for layering up um so looking north here wonderful clouds coming in i thought wow this is fantastic gonna get some good stuff here and the light was already coming through very nicely on the dunes and showing the path through the dunes so yeah really really good but i needed to get to i can't call it anything else big dune it's the biggest dune in on, on the reserve and it's in a wonderful viewpoint so i had to make my way up there for the lovely views back north and south so that's what i did trundled up there and took a few shots and just superb it's been what a wonderful day what a wonderful day
wow, this front was really moving quickly. You can see in this first bit of footage, the diminishing light and the sense that something is about to happen. Huge storm clouds gathering, looked amazing. And what I did was I shot towards the sun because as the, as the clouds came across, it just looked amazing, blocking out occasionally. I thought the silhouetted trees would make a nice sort of, nice sort of effect. Um, just wonderful, wonderful to experience. And this is what happened next. A wonderful wintry shower. This is just captured on my iPhone. I was so pleased. Nice to experience winter. And it left such a lovely look on the land. Not for long, I must admit. The snow died off fairly quickly, unfortunately. But it did leave a lovely look on the land. Nice to see some snow amongst the grasses and the dunes. Oh, winter. It's not been a great one here, but um, it was nice to experience it for a few minutes anyway. Wow, what a great experience to um, watch the wintry shower go over from big June. <laughs> and afterwards, light was gorgeous. I cannot remember if there was any directional light, but there was a beautiful glow, beautiful glow. Now, I know this area very well, and I've shot a lot of pictures from up the top of big June. So I knew that there was this fantastic V shaped and V shape, shall I say. So I am so pleased with this image it's just nicely layered gorgeous light you've got a those lovely clouds in the background with um, rain or snowstorms magenta tones with those orange tones and the grasses oh i'm very very pleased with this one so after that one i managed to take a nice abstract image that i'm also very happy with just focusing on the grasses at the front using a large aperture wasn't bothered about the background being in focus but i did want to um, use a long exposure to have a smooth sea effect and perhaps a sort of a smooth effect in the clouds. I'm really pleased. Beautiful tones, blues, magentas, lovely warmth for the grass. Very, very happy with this one. Thought this was going to be my last image of the um, afternoon. But as I walked back to the car, happy with my lot, the moon started showing itself. So I took a very quick image of the moon. Not a great image, but what a great end to the day. Here we are two weeks later amongst the dunes again and what a change in temperature really really mild but what a cloudscape absolutely gorgeous conditions now as i approached this part which i've photographed a few times before my mind immediately went black and white black and white i thought those wonderful clouds a little bit of movement in the grasses and i just i've got something about these two norfolk coast path signs there i just think they're nicely set apart and they just make a nice subject matter so my first shots of this um this afternoon's visit was black and whites quite graphic quite contrasty again i think that's just a nice start to a shoot which is what i like to do get a nice couple of shots in the bag and then we'll take it from there and i'm yeah rather happy with these It's not unusual to have a favorite fence. Da, 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 da. Yes, this is my favorite fence. Brilliant. This is a fence that they use for um, keeping the seals out from going onto the higher dunes and further inland. And it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I've taken so many pictures of this and I love it. I just wanted to show you my favorite fence. There is no more to say. Not going to get any light on it. It's brilliant when it gets light on it, by the way. Get these wonderful silvery tones against a big sky. It'd be brilliant today against that, but it's not going to happen. Anyway, my favourite fence. My favourite fence. Well, please excuse that idiot singing about his favourite fence. He's obviously very happy. Now, as mentioned by the lovely chap at the start of this video, there was a little bit of concern that the light was going to go and there wasn't going to be much at the end of the day. But I persevered nonetheless. After leaving my favourite fence, I moved on to the dunes, which are quite close to the sea. They're, so they're at lower level. And I must admit, the cloudscape was gorgeous. There was some beautiful movement. And I thought these would make sort of nice longish exposure images with, those, with that wonderful cloudscape behind. Not sure if they've worked particularly successfully, but once again, whilst you're out there, have a go at everything. Try, look, keep practicing above everything else. But um, they're, nonetheless, they're nice images. Maybe I can process them a little bit different in the future. Who knows? But 
yeah, worth having a go. Okay, so these are the last bits of footage and the last stills that I shot of the day. Now, I was, as mentioned earlier, I was on the lower dunes, so I can't actually see the true horizon on the west to see what's actually happening with the light. On the left of this clip here, you can see there's some lovely glow coming through, but what I really would have wanted is a little bit of light on the grasses for the end of the day, but it was a real sort of puzzle. Do I, do I stand my ground or do I just go for a little bit of a walk northwards just so I can get a bit more of an angle and see if anything is happening in the west? So that's what I did, just had a little walk and it was enough just to give me an idea. And to be honest, I still wasn't convinced. It wasn't a case of I was gonna turn around and go home. I'm gonna stick it out, but I just wasn't sure whether I was gonna get any light but what I wanted to be was ready. Now the dunes are beautifully set out here. You can see there's lovely gaps between them. So that it's not all a big clump of grasses, which is all gonna be complicated. You've got some lovely separation. And yes, it was just a case of finding a nice composition and keeping those fingers crossed. And luckily for me, it all came good. I hope you can see the light, absolutely beautiful, subtle, not illuminating the whole landscape, just the certain tops of the grasses, and it was enough to make these, for me, very special images. And I was so damn happy, honestly. What a, yeah, a brilliant, brilliant end to the day. I hope you enjoy these images, guys. And I really appreciate you watching to the end. And I hope you guys have watched to the end um, because, you know, this is what it's all about, staying till the end. Because that's what I did with this shoot. I stayed till the end, even though when I was talking earlier, I wasn't sure anything was gonna happen. Give it time. Have a bit of patience. You're out in nature. That's worth its weight in gold. Stick around and you never know, you might just get your reward. So thanks for listening once again, guys. And I hope to see you soon. Take care.